Hi. You are. Am I? <laughs> Thank you, because this is so fun. beautiful and fun. Yes, of course, very much fun. And um, confirmation to this really beautiful journey I've been on in the last few years. Huh. Yeah, it's been really amazing. And I love everything that I've learned today. And I've been finding purpose in so much in my personal life. May we insert a word? Yes. We'll be brief. Just a slight distinction that while you say I've been finding purpose, we just want to change that to I've been finding satisfaction. Because satisfaction is always defining purpose. Every time you feel just a little piece of satisfaction, no matter how unrelated it seems to the big picture that you think you're on, it is finding purpose because your purpose is satisfaction. Thank you for that. I have been finding so much. You know, you didn't come to fix the world because it's not broken. You do know that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, right. I do. All right. Within myself, focusing on myself for the, probably the first time in my early 30s, the things that I were finding satisfaction kept, kept coming in, yeah. you know, in the vehicle sense that you speak of. Yeah. And I guess my question is, when I have moments, because my human nature had been filled with, honestly, a, a lot of pain, when I got in satisfaction mode, I, I'm effortless things that I want to manifest, they come. Yeah. The dynamic with my personal relationships, they go, they flow. Perfectly stated. You said in even better words what we've been saying all day. And there is this beautiful aspect of my family that I find impactful with this journey. And it's kind of flowing to them. However, when I tend to find myself slipping into a path of resistance or my human self. Is it all right with you if we interact? Yeah, of course. You mean when you do some step one? Yeah. So step one is ask. Contrast helps you do that. Step two is source answers. Blah, blah, blah. You know this stuff. Step three is you get into the receiving mode. You're really good at that. Step four is you hold yourself there consistently. You're also really good at that. Step five is you're back in step one and you like it. Right. And I, I have been All liking right. it, All right. which is why I think I might be here. We are just wanting to head a little thing off that we felt you about to say. So <laughs> Thank as you. long as you like step five, because it's being back in step one, that's a good thing. All right. So now what? I have these moments where, you know, I do go back to step one. Would you call them clarifying moments? They are. Would you call them punishing moments? Sometimes you they call feel that them way. source hates me moments. No. They're clarifying moments. Yeah. Therefore, would you call them helpful moments? They are. They don't feel that helpful in the moment, but they are. So if you could come to just expect them to be helpful, it'll take the sting out of them. Okay. Okay. And I was presented an opportunity recently to help women the way that I feel like I needed to be helped. And uh, healing keeps coming from this. And uh, my first workshop that I have, um, sorry, well, I'm, I'm nervous. We want to interject something here. You're nervous because your inner being left the building right now in this conversation. Oh. So <laughs> it's not that extreme, but we're just wanting to keep guiding it on track. So here's the thing. You know how we were explaining earlier that your inner being doesn't look at the past and your inner being even regards the present manifestation as the past because all the active energy is in, in the vortex and what's moving forward. And so sometimes it feels like because you've come through something that you want to help others come through it. You just want to make sure that you're having a step five moment while you're helping them come through it and that you don't step back into step one moments. That's the distinction that you want to hear. We're not saying don't help them, but we really would like you to be so selfish that you trust that they will find those closer to where they are who will do a better job of helping them than you will as the one who's moved so far beyond it. Because you're having to constantly adjust your vibration into something that doesn't feel good in order to connect with them.
doesn't say don't do the work we're just saying approach it in a different way don't sacrifice your alignment so that they can relate to you oh you're so good <laughs> you really are because I didn't even have to say it and you already knew and I do that yeah I do it well you do it out of a quest for service it's all very well-meaning it just doesn't work often you do it to each other and you don't even mean to but often you want people to sacrifice for you and if they're not sacrificing then their gift doesn't mean that much to you if somebody gives you something and without sacrifice you say ah oh, didn't mean it and so we're just saying don't sacrifice your alignment because if you're not tuned in tapped in turned on you don't have anything to give them the universe will bring to you those who are ready to hear you where you are your inner being will never ask you to go back in vibrational understanding in order to meet up with somebody because there are plenty of those who can lead them from there you brought me one today in the bathroom line I turned around and there's someone I knew I couldn't believe it I came from so far and it happens a lot and yeah. outside of that do you have any personal guidance for me to help me stay in that alignment there's nothing inside. serious going on don't take this so seriously have fun with all of it the world is not broken you are not a savior you don't need to save people and the reason you feel intense about that is because you are relishing and reveling in the improvement that you feel and you wish that for others and we really get that but revel in how you feel revel in how you feel they'll come to you here's a really wonderful thing that most people in your position or any position don't know so we're going to give you some groundbreaking news here you're gonna like this so you heard everything that we just said and you all this is a room full of teachers so they related to what they heard here between us so imagine that you are tuned in tapped in turned on and that there is someone who really wants to know what you know but they can't find you but they can find a vehicle who will lead to a vehicle who will lead to a vehicle who can find you so maybe the timing isn't quite right for this one and you even though your heart is breaking for them when you focus upon them because it's taking you back to something that you remember but rather than trying to do the impossible which is going back just stay where you are trusting that things are always working out for them and as you hold them as your object of attention you shine a light in a way that helps that evolution of their understanding along we said to Esther we're saying this to all of you room full of teachers healers uplifters if you don't care who gets the credit you can do a lot of good in this world yeah, yeah. enough yeah <laughs> really good Thank you. nothing's going wrong nothing is wrong everything's unfolding there's a yearning within you within a lot of you that is unnecessary somehow you've captured somewhere along your physical trail a sense that you should be in a better place than you are and that is not true wherever you are is perfect and you know why because it's where you are <laughs> and no matter where you think you are in relationship with whatever it is you want these things are always true your inner being adores you right where you are your inner being knows exactly everything that you're asking for and your inner being knows exactly the path of least resistance to help you to get there and by path of least resistance we also mean path of most allowance and by path of least resistance we mean your inner being knows where all the pieces of resistance are that you've put there and you know what your inner being feels about the pieces of resistance that you've put there no big deal your inner being isn't saying well if you didn't have all those pieces of resistance there we could lead you there faster your inner being does not see the pieces of resistance as a problem whatsoever because the pieces of resistance are part of the joyous journey in other words Esther had a much 
more interesting adventure this morning than usual more enlivened as a result of that more alive usually she's sort of bored <laughs> walking through the back halls of the kitchen you see what we're getting at do you see we think this is a really really good time for a segment of refreshment. 